so yeah this is the devops mock interview day 40 so we have completed uh, already 13 mock interviews so you are watching this video on youtube if you want you can watch the 13 mock interviews in our youtube playlist so you can go to the playlist section where you can find devops uh, interview question and answers there you can able to get the remaining mock interviews so today anxiety is going to participate in the mock interview so I, hi anxiety can you please introduce yourself so whoever watching this video on youtube please like this video so that we will get motivation to continue this mocks yes, thank you giving this opportunity i'm anisity venkatesh a devops engineer with five years of experience currently working three tech software private limited in kondapur hyderabad my skill set including extensive expertise in aws for cloud infrastructure management and git version 1.0 i'm well versed in continuous integration and uh, deployment using jenkins along with build automation through maven i have experience with code quality security tools like sonar cube and jfrog as well as configuration management using ansible in the realm of containerization, I work with Docker and Kubernetes for orchestrating for applications. I work within Terraform, infrastructure code demonstrate my use of Terraform. An additional shell script automate tasks utilize the Prometheus and Grafana monitoring and visualization. My background equips me to drive efficient and reliable DevOps practice in any dynamic environment. That's it from myself. So Harish, do you want to give him any feedback? Yeah, uh, like compared to uh, last time, it was good. Yeah, it's nice, but at the end there is again some small gap. But okay, now it's uh, seventy percent is good. Yeah. So I will agree with Harish. So you have started good, but when after up to 50 percent it's okay but slowly you are reducing your uh, way of communication and it's feeling like you are reading it is not uh, like uh, it is like a reading script itself for the first 50 percent it's okay but remaining 50 percent it's like you are reading something like for suppose if you are mentioning monitoring tool you are just reading it out okay 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 i have experience like something you can tell uh, fluently you are just going fast so that opposite person will not able to understand what you are going to do. right okay, okay so shall we start the mock yeah So how do you secure sensitive data using secrets in Kubernetes? So how do you secure sensitive data using secrets in Kubernetes? Can we use Vault for uh, security securing? Secrets. We use them for config map security purpose. Uh, what is the question I asked? Can you please read? How do, how do you secure the sensitive data using secret in Kubernetes? So what I mentioned. Okay. So I'm already mentioned the answer. What you are telling Vault config map I already mentioned right i have a sensitive data i want to secure it using secrets how you will do that right simply we can able to create a secret right in kubernetes by creating a secret, we can able to secure our sensitive data. Simple answer. Okay, how do you enable pod security policies in Kubernetes? How 
how do you prevent unauthorized users from accessing the kubernetes apis nothing but nothing but a kubernetes cluster itself how do you prevent unauthorized users from accessing the kubernetes we will uh, to rbac yes role based you are right by enabling role based access control we can able to control the users who can able to log in how do you secure a kubernetes cluster in multi tenant environment so how do you secure the kubernetes environment like environment are back right how do you troubleshoot a node that is not ready by uh... checking the logs super you are right how you will check the logs for a node i'm not getting the exact command okay, you can describe right you shall describe node yes okay how do you check resource utilization of a pod you how do you check for events in kubernetes how do you troubleshoot networking issues in kubernetes how do you troubleshoot networking issues how do you perform rolling update in kubernetes it's a uh, like deployment strategy uh, uh, with the help of uh, this rolling update a batch of uh, users will be shifted to the uh, updated environment and uh, rest of the uh, users will be in the uh, uh, like previous version of the application only yeah i know what is rolling update i am asking you how do you perform i know what is rolling update will do procedure uh, uh, exact id i do sir procedure Okay how do you roll back a failed deployment in kubernetes So Rishabh can you please introduce yourself Okay one minute Yes uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity Uh, my name is uh, Amrishab Kumar. I have 4.5 years of experience, especially in AWS and DevOps, and a total of five years uh, experience in the IT field. In my current role, I have been extensively working with various tools and technologies that are pivotal to DevOps practices. For version control, uh, I have hands-on experience with Git and GitHub, ensuring uh, efficient uh, code management and collaboration. For continuous integration and deployment, I leverage Jenkins to automate and streamline the build and deployment process. In terms of configuration management, I utilize Ansible to automate and manage configuration uh, across different environments. For containerization, I uh, work with Docker to create and manage containers. I use Kubernetes uh, for orchestration these uh, containers in a scalable and efficient manner. My infrastructure management is driven by Terraform, allowing me to define and provision infrastructure through code. For application deployment, I have experience with uh, Tomcat as application server. Uh, for uh, artifact uh, management, I use S3 and uh, JFrog Artifactory 
to handle and store uh, build artifacts. Uh, lastly, I monitor and visualize application performance and uh, system uh, using Prometheus and Grafana uh, for uh, the performance uh, tuning. Uh, uh, I am excited about the uh, opportunity to bring my expertise to our team and contribute to delivering robust and uh, scalable solutions. This is all about my introduction. Okay. So, Adish, do you want to give him any feedback? Uh, the <coughs> the communication is good, uh, the slang is good, but uh, it looks like a reading script rather than uh, explaining himself to the uh, whatever in front of him. So, it's better to uh, like uh, reading all the script and uh, uh, delivering in a continuous way without uh, any uh, the way of uh, uh, providing or reading any papers or script. He can just uh, uh, add these things and he can uh, <coughs> like present. It's better. But the communication and slang is good. There is no issue with that. Yes, yes, you are right. So from the starting of mentioning, right, Rishabh, you have good communication and way of yes. delivering. You are answering the question. Your technical part, everything is perfect. Yes. But you, yeah. So as Arish said, it is like reading, and I'm feeling. Uh, boring if, if i ask me genuinely it's like boring sir like uh, if i uh, reduce the tune sir uh, to uh, like uh, cover all these tools and technologies it may take uh, some time this is the reason uh, mm, it's like, it's not like that it's not like that you are not like for suppose okay. there is a difference i'm using git for uh, for source code management so like okay. this is different so actually i'm using git as a source code repository right this is different so you are okay. speaking like this am i right arish yes, yes, uh, yes exactly. okay. next time i will uh, i will try to uh, cut uh, two or three tools uh, so that i'm not uh, that I'm, in... I'm not telling to cut the tools did, did you get my point okay. The way yes. of communication. Yes. Yeah. I'm using Git as a source code management tool. You are telling like this, but you need to tell we are using Git as a source code management tool. Okay. Okay. It okay. should be. Some changes I will do. Uh, yeah. Once I get this recording, I will uh, review this once again. Okay. So shall we check the answers? Okay. So, how do you secure sensitive data using secrets in Kubernetes? So, secrets store sensitive information like passwords or API keys. So, real life example storing a database password as a secret and injecting it into an application pod. So, API version v1 kind secret metadata name of your secret database password type opec secret type is opec data password is something. Yes. By fetching this secret, I can able to use it for my database, right? Or I can directly yeah, apply it. Is fine? Yes. Okay. Okay. If you learn uh, Kubernetes, right? They will already explain this how to create a secret. Okay. So how do we enable pod security policies in Kubernetes? So, port security policy is nothing but PSPs and for security policies on ports like restricting privilege escalation, um, preventing ports from running as a root user. Like I don't want to run a pod as a root user. So, then what I can able to do? I can create a port security policy, name of that security policy. So, run as a root user rule must run as non-root. Non So how do you prevent another user from accessing the Kubernetes? Use RBAC and Kubernetes authentication methods like certificates or tokens. So configuring RBAC to restrict API access. If you see kubectl, create role binding, role binding name, cluster role, just view user, username, and on which namespace. So that this user, my user can able to only view the namespace that's it you cannot able to do 
other you cannot able to create whatever it may be. just he has the read access sir one doubt here uh, can you please go to uh, yes third question once yeah yes yes here only in place of uh hyphen hyphen uh, like namespace is equal to default uh, so uh, suppose if i uh, take any uh, custom uh, namespace then i have to provide the custom namespace here yes in place of default yes okay how do you secure a kubernetes cluster in multi-tenant environment same r back use namespace network policy or back okay like for suppose if there is a team a team a needs only namespace access other than that they don't they should not allow so at the time api version we want kind meta name name of your team how do you troubleshoot a node that is not ready kubectl describe node and node name then you will get the brief description and you can see the events there how do you check the resource utilization of a pod right kubectl top pod and pod name how do you check for events kubectl get events simple commands this is a simple one but no one answer how do you troubleshoot network issues kubectl describe network policy policy name how do you perform rolling update right kubectl set image deployment okay which image you want to update okay image name and the version tag then automatically in the dip, in this deployment this image will be updated okay and the de deployment will be done without any downtime if you want to roll back fail deployment roll out undo deployment kubectl roll out undo deployment right deployment slash your deployment name So that's it for this mock interview.